Welcome back to the Cell Subscriptions with WordPress series. In this video, we are going to learn how to set up our Stripe webhooks. Now, what are webhooks? Webhooks are the thing that allow your app to communicate with Stripe in case any events occur on a user account, such as a failed payment, a user upgrading, downgrading, canceling their subscription. All of that is handled by Stripe webhooks. Now, why is it important? It's important because if you have pages gated by user roles, then you want accounts to be updated based off what tier they're on. So let's jump into it and let's get these Stripe webhooks running. Okay, so within our Billflow plugin in the side navigation, we are going to navigate to the second tab where it says Stripe webhooks. Click that and you'll be brought to this two-step form. So as part of the first step, it's going to, it's asking you a series of questions. So your live and test secret keys are actually within Stripe. So let's navigate over here. And right within your dashboard, you'll actually get your test API keys and your live API keys. If you click on these, you'll see a publishable key as well as a secret key. You actually want to reveal the test key and reveal the live key as well, and copy and paste both of those in their designated input fields. So these two input fields up here. Paste those, and then you'll also need your test signing secret and your live signing secret keys, which we will get to in a second. But before that, if your account is live, you want to check this box. Mine is currently in the test mode, so I'm going to uncheck that. And before we move on to step two, we're also going to add the service name that we've input into our metadata. If you recall, that metadata is actually in our product as a first meta tag. So if we go back here, we edit when you're setting up your product, it's this first tag. So you are just going to copy it and paste it exactly how you have it in Stripe. In order to get our test signing keys and live signing keys, we are given a series of steps. So first, we're going to copy this code to our clipboard, and then we're going to navigate to the webhooks. From here, we want to add an endpoint. You're going to paste the URL that you were given right here. Paste that in. And all you have to do is just select the events that you want Stripe to communicate with WordPress. So once you've defined all of the events that you want to communicate between Stripe and WordPress, then all you have to do is reveal your signing secret key, copy that, and paste it in the designated input field over here. And you're going to do the same thing for your live account. To do that, you could either toggle this off to view live data, or you can just select this link in your dashboard and do complete the same exact steps. And there you have it. You have the missing piece to the whole puzzle of how to gate content by user roles. In the next few videos, I'm gonna be putting all of this to test by showing you how you can actually use the Billflow billing pages to run your subscription website. All right, until next time, everyone. Bye.